What's up everybody? My name is Lehua and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host of podcasts across worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lehua Superfina. Today we are reviewing the Saints Magic Power is OP. And if you like anime reviews, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next upload. And if you would like to support the channel, we got Patreon and channel membership. Link to those are below. We are reviewing the Saints Magic Power is OP episode 12. Season finale! Season finale, yo! This is the last episode! And I really hope that they make another season because the story's not over. Like, it's, this is just the beginning! <laughs> like, from what I know of the light novel, this seems like just the beginning! <laughs> like, there's more to it! There's more to the story! Anyways, 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 maybe this is the whole thing and the volumes are just filled with information about the characters and such. For example, Kyle. Kyle had his own section and whatnot, but Kyle had his own episode in this season. So I'm, I'm like, I don't know. What, I'm not, I don't know where this production is going, but I really hope they make a second season. Anyways, let us talk about this last episode of this season. This season. Okay, so what happened was they and her group, they go to do another expedition, right? And before that, Say's practicing the Saint Country. And Yuri's there, he's with Corrine, and they're like analyzing the Saint Country. They are helping Say how to perfect it, how to use it faster. <clears throat> Which makes sense because they has to think about Albert every time she does think country. <laughs> she has to. She says she has to prep, and Yuri's like, "What do you mean you need to prep? Like, how how do you, how do you prep for magic?" And she's like, "Um, <laughs> like she really doesn't want to tell him, but you can see throughout the episode that." Yuri's kind of noticing that things are happening between Say and Albert. Like they're getting closer. And I think he's seeing a connection with her magic and Albert. I think it's not straightforward, but you see it in his face. He's got that face. He's like, coo, 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 face. He's got that, uh huh, something's going on, face. Anyways. Say is practicing using the same country on plants and plots of land. So she's working it on the land, the earth. It's not really earth because this is called earth, the land. Let's just call it the land. <laughs> and then they go out on their expedition, right? Everybody's there. Everybody! Ira and the mages, Leonhart and his mercenaries, everyone is there. And before they go out on their expedition, Leonhart notices Yuri and he recognizes him. He says, oh, it's Yuri the Infernal. And it's like, what? Yeah, he he's a pyromaniac, yo. Like, he, he's, he's got a lot of power. He can make things go boom and whatnot. And Leonhart explains that Yuri is known for using a lot of firepower and it just leaves things into ashes. I was going to say to dust, but ashes and it's pretty bad. And I'm wondering if he said this because when they left the forest, the first time we saw Yuri on episode 11, I believe in episode 11, <clears throat> Yuri comes to save them, right? In episode 12, they leave the forest after Yuri saves them. They retreat. And Leonhardt actually looks back in the forest and he's he has like a sad look. Like now I know why. Now I know why he had a sad look because he saw everything that got burnt and he has an attachment to the forest. He has one. And with Yuri in the picture, he's like, oh no, my forest. <laughs> my forest is gonna get burnt by Yuri. The Inferno. Wait, he had a different Inferno Fiend. That was Yuri's nickname. Inferno Fiend. Fiend. That's not a good word. Where is like, oh, I really hope the forest will be okay. 
This is build up. They're building this up, building this up. And then they get to the expedition. Slimes everywhere. Toxic slimes. They got acid. They're burning things. They're burning people. Ira's there healing using water magic. Mages using fire power. Ice power. All kinds of power. Everybody's working together. It's going really, really good. But then it gets thicker and thicker in miasma. Numbers of slimes are growing. Slimes are turning into bears. <laughs> Or the bears are coming out of the miasma pool. Swamp, swamp. They're calling it swamp. Miasma swamp. Now it's like, okay, we need to shut this down. And Albert, throughout this time, throughout this expedition, Albert's getting hurt. And Stacy sees it and she's like, Albert! Or she doesn't go Albert, she's like, Commander Hawk! And then her saint country is about to activate and Yuri's like, Stop! <laughs> like he's keeping an eye out on her stink conjury. He's like, wait, don't use it yet. It uses a lot of MP. And I'm like thinking, Yuri, are you catching on that her stink conjury just activate activates because of Albert Hawk? Like, are are you noticing this? <laughs> and but it doesn't look like he was noticing that. It didn't look like it. It looked like he was like in the zone. He's like. Fire! 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 Well, actually, he was using fire, electricity, earth, water, ice. He was going all over the place. He was, he was MVP. Like, he was doing a lot of work. And I think he was trying to be really strategic with Say's St. Condry. Like, use it, but not use it too much because he's going to need it later on. Like, at the swamp, the Miasma Swamp. Yo, that's where they needed to use it. And they did. They did use it there. <clears throat> what the thing was... There was a little hiccup. So, they get to the Miasma Swamp, right? And then Yuri, he's like, Okay, use your same country now. And Stacey's like, Okay. And she's putting... She's going into the um, praying position. And she's thinking about Albert. And it's taking a long time. I'm like... Girl, why is it taking so long? You you were It was about to burst before twice, actually. I think it almost burst twice. So I'm like, why is it taking so long for you to use the same carnage right now? Like, come on, people are getting hurt. Come on. And then you see Ira and Leonhardt in trouble. And then Say's like, oh what? And she gets out of her position and she goes to help them and it's like girl what you gonna do <laughs> like can you run that fast like <laughs> and i'm thinking they can handle themselves they got it now we got ira lanhart and say about to be in danger all three of them and we need say to be safe we need her to purify right then Yuri uses the Inferno. He's like, Inferno. And it looked like he was a little reluctant to use it too, which I was a little surprised. I was thinking, you know, you probably want to use that just to like, you know, get rid of things, do things really quick. But it seems like he does know the consequences of using Inferno. Raw. After he used Inferno, yes, he like cleared all the enemies, all the slimes and whatnot, but everything was on fire. And everyone's just looking at things shocked. They're like, oh my gosh, holy cow, this, this is amazing. But this is also a disaster. Things are burning. The forest life, oh no, but we're safe. Oh yay, like conflicting. People are conflicted. And then Yuri, he like turns to say, or he talks to say, he's like, okay, you can use, you can do the purification now. And it looked like he was a little resentful. He was a little resentful that Say made him use the Inferno. It looked like it. And so Say, she uses the Saint's country to purify the area. And you like see things. It's all burnt. Ashes. Doesn't look good. Looks really bad. But you see that like the golden sparkles went into the soil. You see that. And you see people got healed. Everyone's healthy. The fire's gone. No fire. But you do see that Yuri looks bad. 
he looks sad that he used Inferno. Like, he didn't want to use it. He was hoping not to use it. That's what it looked like. And it's making me think, okay, he does know the consequences of using it. For example, burning the forest. It looked like that was something that he really didn't want to do. <clears throat> and you see Leonhardt, he looks sad. And you see Albert, he looks sad too. And it's like, why, why? Why is Albert sad? Then you go to the next scene where Zay and Albert are talking to each other. And Albert is like, he's a little standoffish. He's like a little distant. Like, huh. Is he mad at Say? It looked like he was mad at her. And Say looked like she was too guilty to even like try to talk to him. She looked like she felt bad for for taking so long during the same conjury. She looked like it. To me, she did. If you guys think that she looked differently, let me know in the comments. And then he walks her to her tent, and then they were going to part ways, and then they both did a turn. They both turned to each other, and it looked like Albert was waiting for Say to tell him something. He said, Oh, is there something on your mind? Literally, that's what he said. <laughs> and I'm thinking, Oh boy, you... You want her to pay up. You want her to finally confess to you. Because, you know, Alfred's been pretty, pretty straightforward about how he likes her. He's been straightforward about it. <laughs> and it looked like Say wanted to say something to him. And she's like contemplating. She's like, oh, should I? Should I not? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, questioning her feelings. Questioning, like, the weight of them. Etc. <clears throat> Etc. Et and then Albert's like, you know, I pledge my loyalty, my sword, to the king. If you don't mind, can I pledge it to you forever? And it's like, oh, another straightforwardness from Albert. Point to him. So there, I was like, kind of wondering if he was getting frustrated and he was getting tired of saying that reciprocating his feelings. So I was thinking, oh, okay. Is this him drawing a line? It's like, okay, if you don't want to be together romantically, can I be with you as your knight? But then they cut to a scene of her feet. Say's feet. Before that, she smiled. And then her feet. And she steps forward. So I'm like thinking, um, oh, was that like a proposal? Can't tell. It was a little ambiguous, I must say. To go both ways. Could be drawing a line, could be proposing. Not too sure. <clears throat> but it gets answered later on. Answers are answered. Answers are given later on. <clears throat> the next scene, we are at the burnt area. Ashes, plants are black. It looks horrible. Leonhardt's heart is crying. You can see it in his face is like no this is what i wanted to prevent no i knew this was gonna happen since yuri is here he totally called it and then hey she's there she's standing in the middle she has her hands together so you're thinking brah she's gonna do the blessing and she's like concentrating she's thinking about albert she's like commander hawk commander hawk and then you just see Yuri being like, what you doing, Say? <laughs> and Say's like, can you back off? <laughs> your, your closeness, your staring is a little unnerving. He's like, oh, so sorry. Don't mind me. He just slides away. <laughs> that was hilarious. Like, he knows how much he, how overbearing he was getting. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> He's like, don't mind me. Do your thing. Do your thing, girl. <laughs> <laughs> and so she's like concentrating and Albert comes along he's like you got this say you got this holds her hand and it's like oh so that thing that he was talking about with the sword pledging to her forever that was a romantic thing oh oh they're holding him oh, oh, oh. and then you see Say smiling, and it's like, oh, say, did you did you tell Albert how your Saint Country works? And then she's glowing. Oh, it is sparkly, like gold is sparkly. Oh, so I'm like thinking, did say, 
tell Albert. Is that why Albert's there? Like, does Albert know that he helps her? <laughs> Say, passes the same country, the blessing. She blesses the forest. The soil looking good. Plant life is rejuvenated. The forest is back. And Lear the heart is happy. He is happy. I'm happy for him too. And say thanks. Whoosh. <laughs> and then she wakes up in Albert's arms. They're walking. And he's like, no, you can put me down. And Yuri and Ira are there. And Ira's like all happy for say. She's like, oh. Yeah, you go, girl. Get your man. <laughs> she wasn't really thinking that, or she didn't say that, but it looked like she was cheering for say. It looked like it, and that was pretty much the episode. Because after that, we just see say and Albert talking to each other. They pack up from the closet domain. They say their goodbyes to people, and then they leave. And after the episode, you see like little like pictures of. Right before they left, about to leave, and after they leave, like they go back to the kingdom, <clears throat> and that's it. You see that Ira is back, she's friends with Elizabeth. You see Kyle is happy with how that friendship bloomed, that Ira's doing okay, he walks off doing his own thing. And I'm like thinking, where's the cosmetics? Where's the store that they talked about in the synopsis? Like, I totally knew that the store, the cosmetics and whatnot, were not going to fit in this season. I totally knew that. I was like thinking, how are you going to fit that? How? How? And the reason why I knew it wasn't going to fit was by the direction of the show. Honestly, I had an idea how this show was going to go, but then when I read the synopsis, I was thinking, oh, oh, this might go in a different direction. And I saw the episode with Elizabeth talking about how her friend needs like some cosmetics to boost her confidence, etc, etc. You saw a little snippet of Say talking to Elizabeth through Iris' perspective, and that's it. That's, that's all. So I'm like thinking, how can you talk about, say, having a store and selling cosmetics and potions and whatnot when it didn't even happen? I'm just saying, I really like the season. I really like the show. I like the story. We know that, say, ends up with Albert. We know that Ira has potential with Lanhart. Mm -hmm. I saw that. I saw that little picture thingy of... Ira cooking for Elaine Hart. We saw that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then we see that Elizabeth and Kyle's relationship is going okay. And we were told that Ira was going to be partnering up with Elizabeth and Kyle's brother. So there's also that. There has to be another season. There has to be. You have to bring another season if you're going to bring in all this information. Yes, this last episode seemed like it could be the last one. What? But, 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 but there's a lot of things that gives potential for another season. All the things I listed. The store cosmetics. Ira and her hanging out with Elizabeth and Kyle's brother. Ira and Leonhart. And then, oh, also uh, experimenting with the St. Conjury. I mean, there's Yuri who would probably want to experiment on that. Because it looks like that Yuri does have a suspicion that the St. Conjury is related to, say, thinking about Albert. So I'm thinking the next season, Yuri is going to exploit that. And I'm in for that. I want to see that. I want to see that comedy. Come on now. But besides that, if they're trying to figure out how to make another season, how to bring another conflict, I'm theorizing that with Say's store cosmetics. Yes, I'm stuck on that. I am stuck on the cosmetics potion thing. If she does do that, if they do show her doing that, it could also bring in another kingdom. It could disrupt with treating. It could disrupt with the nobles and whatnot. It could... That is causing some, you know, conflict for a story. So I can totally see that happening. Let me know what you guys think. 
light novel readers if you guys know what's going to happen if there is potential for another season let us know in the comments below give us some hope crossing fingers please <laughs> If you guys like this review of The Saints Magic Power is OP episode 12 season finale, let me know in the comments. Let me know if you like the episode or what you think about the episode. Let me know what you think about this video. And if you want to talk outside of YouTube, there is a Discord. Discord link is available in the description. I stream on twitch.tv slash Superfina. People who watch these videos, if you like to stop by the stream, have that one-on-one -on -one real time conversation, you guys are more than welcome. Outside of YouTube and Twitch, I host podcasts across worlds where we talk about anime, manga, and other things you're interested in. If you like podcasts like that, links to podcasts is in the description. We are available on all platforms. Other than that, my name is Lehua, and this is the Superfina channel reviewing The Saints Magic Power is OP, episode 12, season finale. Hope you guys like this video, and I will see you on the next one. Later! Huge thanks to my Patreons and channel members for making this video possible. If you also want to be part of the Superfina party, you can click over here or become a channel member. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And I do stream live on Twitch every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Hope to see you guys there and I will see you on the next video. This bump.